Welcome back to an all new episode of One on One with Courtney Starks. We are celebrating black businesses, black entrepreneurs all month long. And joining me today is CEO and founder of Our Reflections. Please, please make some noise for Elnora Harris. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to be here with you. No, oh, you're you're oh, you're amazing. And as I read up on your story, I never ever put into my mind oral care when it comes to the African American space, right? I never thought about that. And as I'm reading, I'm like, wow, this is great. This is amazing. Like, who would have thought about that? And as I'm as I'm reading and I'm reading, I'm like, you know what? When I speak about holding spaces in places, there's a space for us to be represented everywhere. And it is so important to have those conversations. And I love that you are leading this charge in doing so. So thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. It's my honor to be able to do it. You're welcome. So let's talk about the journey, right? Getting to become a serial entrepreneur. And for one, me being one, I know that the journey is never easy. Getting there and trying to navigate that field while life is life in <laughs> and things have to be paid and, and, and trying to navigate a normal sense of being, how do you jump into that space? No, it has just really been the grace of God. I mean, I started my first business um, was a balloon business. Mm -hmm. You know, I do balloon decor, I do custom items. And then um, from there is where I spent off of my, my background is education. So I am actually a licensed special education teacher. And because I'm in that space of working with students who are, seem to be on the outside, I yeah. want to them and make them feel included and represent, you know, and representing them in whatever class they might have to go in. And mm -hmm. so I have another business that's called Level Up, which yeah. works with and advocate for special needs children. And so those two are in operation. And I know you might ask the question, how did our reflections even get started? Yeah. Right? Yeah. How did it happen? Well, it started one day because I am that DIYer, that crafter. Mm -hmm. I saw my daughter who was 10 at the time, brushing her teeth with just like a pop icon. I won't put the name out there, but she was <laughs> with a pop icon, white icon. And I thought, you know, to myself, why can't she have someone that looked like her in her own home? You know, nothing was wrong with the pop icon. She loved her. The kids adored her. But why couldn't she have a representation of her? And so I started thinking like, hmm, maybe I can peel a sticker off and put something on there and make it happen mm -hmm. to the dollar store bought a <laughs> bought a toothbrush and tried to make me a little prototype so i started asking you know a couple of my my certain my friends that are close to me I'm like what do you think about this idea and started start researching and looking all over and there's nothing like that like mm. it's a space that has been untapped yeah. and it's just been God leading me from right the right person to the right vendor to the right manufacturer to the right this and the right that. So now we have FDA approved toothbrushes that feature African American girls and boys. Mm. So amazing. I mean, think about yourself. Yeah. When you up, did you have a toothbrush that looked like you? No, ever, never. I just whatever whatever was in that little Kifu brand pack, I picked it up, put the teeth. And kept on going, you know what I mean? So for me, my question would be diversity, right? At yes. what point do you say to yourself, even after I'm watching your child in that space, at what point did you say, you know what, something has to change, right? Because you are, like you said, you already had other businesses and then this aha moment tapped in. At what point were you like, you know what, I have to be the one to lead the charge? You know what? It was such a strong, like, urgency. Like, you need to do this because there's other parents that feel just like you mm -hmm. that would like to see that representation on a toothbrush that look like their child, especially with little boys. There's no representation. You have your Black Panther. Yeah. And then you have all your superheroes that have masks on. And we know underneath that mask who that person is. Mm -hmm. And so... Why can't we have our kids be embraced in their own home and having products that they use every day yeah, that yeah. resemble them so that they can grow up knowing that, you know, 
it's okay to be in the skin that I'm in. I'm not sure if you saw a video of a little girl, this was a few years ago, right when I started, who was crying. She was maybe three years old and she was crying because she looked in the, looked in the mirror at herself and she said, I'm so ugly. Yes. Now, why did this little black girl, dark skin, why did she think she was ugly? Where did she get that image from? Mm. And it's because she doesn't see enough of her on products or on TV shows or on in books or whatever that represents her to say, you know what, well, you're beautiful in the skin that you're in. Because yeah. look at such she's dark, you know she's your complexion and she's beautiful so it's all about trying to make sure we're spreading the word right now when our babies are young that they are beautiful in the skin that they're in and that can help build that self-esteem and we don't have to hear you know why am i the only one that look like this why can't my skin be lighter or yeah. what happened yeah because so i do yeah. believe that um and that's a whole nother conversation that colorism is also a conversation you know when we talk about even in this space of black people, you know what I mean? And what they place on products. You understand what I'm saying? So when yes. you think about oral care, because these are kids, do you do you believe that it starts with a smile, right? For me, I truly believe that when I get up in the morning and I smile, it makes my entire day. So for Absolutely. young people, seeing themselves on just a pack of toothpaste or a toothbrush can start something. And what do you what are you what are you what are you hearing? What are you seeing when you are going out and seeing young black people see themselves reflected on these products? You know what, my friend, it brings tears, literally, it brings tears to my eyes when the parents send me feedback, they send me videos, they send me that initial moment when that kid opens that package, it blows me away because they're like, oh, this is someone who looks like me, you know, Nora with the puff balls, it's yes. little girls are like, she wears her hair like mine. Mm -hmm. And so right there is just, it just does everything for me. Like, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing because yes. they now tap into a product or a character that looks like them and they could be happy about it. You know, they could be joyous about it and seeing them twirling with their little toothbrushes is too. <laughs> then all of our toothbrushes, I don't know if you saw it, but all of our tooth toothbrushes come with an affirmation on it. So like you said, you wake up in the morning, you smile. These here, it says smile beautiful. So it lets you know you are beautiful in the morning. Mm. And then for my boy here, brush it, then crush it. You're able to go conquer the world today. No Come matter on. what on you can conquer the world then our other ones you know brush like a boss and you sparkle so we want to have that positive affirmation in their homes in the mornings because you know we got to be honest not every home situation is always nice yeah. it's always loving yeah. but if they put their hands on that toothbrush and they look at it and Nora looks back at them and say smile beautiful they just heard someone tell them to smile beautiful mm. today, that you're beautiful. And so it's just all about not only representation, but building that baby's self-esteem. Yes. You know something? I I love this, but this is my question. Do you see yourself doing this for adults? I feel that we are in a place right now where, yes, it's great to start them young, but there are so many older people like ourselves who wasn't told that growing up, right? And they're struggling right now with self-esteem issues and insecurities. And wouldn't it be amazing to just start with a toothbrush and pick it up. And the first thing is an affirmation to remind you as an adult that you're beautiful. Yes, you know, I've been asked a lot, are you going to make some toothbrushes for adults? Even teenagers, like, what about us? You know, black girl rocks, melanin popping. I'm like, <laughs> we, we have to do something because, yes, yes, I'm being yes. asked. Uh, quite often. Let's talk about customer service. So how important is customer service to you in this space? My goodness, I really do pride myself on customer service. I want to make sure that my customers, and that's with any of my businesses, are well pleased with my service and with my product. You know, when you manufacture thousands upon thousands of toothbrushes, there's bound to be one that's de defective. Bring yeah. that back to me and let me see how we can replace it or do whatever we can because I want to make my customers happy. Mm -hmm. 
keep coming back, but mainly because I want you to to see this product as quality and that, hey, she's gonna she's gonna make sure it's right for me because I need my baby to have it. Yes. So let's talk about just getting marketed to dentists, right? What are the feedback? What are, what kind of feedback have they been giving you? Because I know orthodontists sometimes can be a bit much. So what are they telling you? Honey, friend, my <laughs> dentist community have embraced me so much. Oh my gosh. When I've shared it with just some local, I'm here in Las Vegas. I've shared it yeah. with some local is here they have championed behind me purchasing them at you know putting them out on instagram for their you know for their followers to see yeah and even not only just the african-american dentists i've had some caucasian dentists that are like mm. this is amazing can i share with my team and so it has been because it's so necessary yeah and it's so needed and it hasn't been done before so the dentist community community has definitely opened their arms wide yeah um, that's amazing and as, as they should be as yeah. they should be and as we are like i said before as we are celebrating you during this black business month what does that mean to you to be able to look back at all the things you've done to get here and and say to yourself i made it i am a serial entrepreneur i run businesses what does that mean you know what uh, just think to be in this space right now and think back even just five years ago i was you know not belittling teachers it at all when i say i was just a teacher but i didn't have a mind to really have a business i just know i need, had a heart to do different things and to be creative so to fast forward to here to have businesses that are making impact in lives is really um, a blessing to me and it's letting me know that you're fulfilling your purpose like you're walking mm -hmm. and your purpose and what you were you know you were brought here on earth to do yeah so it's good it's a good feeling out of all of the three businesses that you run what do you say are just some of the challenges that we face as entrepreneurs there's some tips at entrepreneurs that we need to be better at when it comes to customer service when it comes to transparency and when it really comes to tapping into the gift. One of the biggest things, is, you know, yeah. you said that the first thing you said was customer service. Mm. You know, sometimes, you know, black businesses can get a bad rap about customer service. It's all about being in having integrity, yeah. being professional and being consistent. Mm. You know, you have to be professional because we want to be able to be, you know, be compatible with our, you know, with, with those that are on the other side of us, you know, yeah. with our offices, with our counterparts. So we need to be, um, we need to be professional. We need to be consistent. If you're going to say your business is going to open at nine o'clock, be there at 830 mm. to open up that business. Okay. Mm. So that your customers can flow, make sure that you're not out of stock on things, keep stock in, you know, in place so that you can always be there so you can be trusted. So yes. when your customers come, they know, oh, I already know, it's going to be plenty of toothbrushes over there on that because she's going to keep it stocked. You know, you yes. want them to have, have trust in your brand and in your value. And so mm. I want to just, just share that and be integrous, you know, make mm. sure that everything is lined up as it should be, you know, with your taxes, with, you know, your legal stuff, make sure you're not doing stuff under the table. Just make sure you are running an integrous business. Yes. And what tips would you give to, newer entrepreneurs who are in this space, not really sure how to navigate, but they want to do something. One of my biggest things, which has really blessed me and continue to bless me is having mentorship, mm. having mentors. And I know, and even having some coaches, but one of the things I want to share with your listeners is if you have not heard about SCORE, S-C-O-R-E dot org, you can get a free mentor in your area of business, in your own location, wherever you may be, that will help mentor you and guide you through the process on how to start the business, on how to write a business plan, on all the things that you need to do um, to, you know, to file your LLC. Yeah. Versus so get in contact with um, some kind of a, a mentor to help you get started. I love that you mentioned mentorship. I think a lot of times people act in this mindset of, I got to do this all by myself. When in reality, there is such a community of people willing 
to embrace you, willing to lead you and guide you if you look. If yeah. you do the work. Oh my God. I am <laughs> I am so honored to have been able to talk to you first because I feel like people need to hear this, that there is space for all of us to shine. And I thank you for taking charge in an oral space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elnora Harris. Please make sure you are tapping in and get yourself and your kids a toothbrush. Because I'm here. I don't care if it's for you. I want one. You know what I mean? <laughs> so please make sure, Elnora, please let them know where they can find you and support you. You can find me at www.ourreflections.com. So we are sold on our, our website. We are also sold on Amazon. Um, you can just Google Our Reflections Toothbrushes. It'll come up there. But we really want to push our website um, because we want to be able to send you, like when you when you buy from the website, you get special little treats, you know? <laughs> I got one of little treats from the website. So you want to go through the website to order your toothbrushes. So you heard that. Please make sure you head over to the website to get the brush and follow her just because I said so, all right? I love you all for watching and make sure you tune into another episode of One on One with Courtney's Talks. Anora, we love you and you are now a part of the Courtney's Corner community. Have a good one. Thank you so much. You're welcome.